Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining. Um, I'd like to welcome Dominique Rollins. Dominique is with um, a company called Rentspree. Rentspree is a free service. I, I won't do too much of a preface because I'll let Dominique uh, describe it. I just want to say um, I know um, all us real estate brokers in this office, we don't do property management. Um, but if you're like me, you work with investors who um, buy properties that they're going to turn into rentals. And um, they can save a lot of money if they are going to hire a property manager, getting the tenant themselves using a, a program like Rent Spree. Um, and this is a free service you can offer to those clients. Also, if you have any rentals yourself, you're allowed to manage your own rentals and you can use this service um, for free as well. So it's a really awesome uh, tool and I will let Dominique take the floor. Thank you, Isaac. Um, first and foremost, thank you. I appreciate your time. Uh, thank you for having me. Um, I do appreciate um, bringing you guys the value, essentially, and making life that much simpler uh, when dealing with rentals. Uh, so I'm more than happy to get the partnership rolling. Um, pretty much Isaac covered most, most of everything we do. Um, essentially, we're going to be your one-stop shop when bringing in new applicants and completing um, the tenant screening process. Uh, with that being said, you also have access to renter's insurance, and down the line, you'll also have the ability to um, collect rent, rent payment, um, and that goes for the property managers, landlords, et cetera. So um, there are added aspects that we should be expecting soon, but for the time being, we do focus on the tenant screening process. So I would like to get started with the presentation. Essentially, I'll bring you guys... Um, to the to the page where you'll go ahead and access get started with your free account um, just a few things to go over um, you know essentially some of the basics that we do abide by over at rents free so if you don't mind I will go ahead and share my screen if that's okay you have the ability to do so great and please let me know if you can successfully see uh, the presentation screen it should be via PowerPoint good yep I got it great awesome all right so like I said um, we are rent free. Um, this essentially is tenant screening made easy. Um, we're going to minimize the back and forth dealing with printouts, dealing with hand to hand, um, you know, contact essentially. Our process is fully online and we also added the e sign document aspect to it. So essentially, any documentation that's um, private or uh, confidential essentially can be taken care of online with confidence. So moving forward, some of our added benefits, essentially we're saving you time when you're accessing or dealing with the screening uh, process, essentially. Um, with that, we reduce liability by not handling social security numbers, any confidential payment information like I referred to a little earlier. Essentially, everything is done online. And those applicants will have access and they have full control of their information. So um, essentially, we don't have to go through that process of receiving and handling information. And lastly, um, you know, it's free to use. Um, with that being said, it's going to be a $30 charge for that uh, credit report. Uh, but essentially, you're not paying for it. You're, the, the, the platform is free to use, free to take advantage of. And it's also, uh, by all means, you can list as many properties as you need to um, with the cost of zero dollars. So it's all, all benefits to you. So some of our uh, pillars that we abide by, essentially, um, we have the online rental application. So essentially, you'll deal with the rental application all online. You'll have access to your TransUnion credit report criminal background check, has a full uh, list of uh, sex offender registries and most wanted, all that good stuff. Your credit reports come with full collections report, cre uh, credit score along with the trade lines. So it's a well-detailed report and I'll show you um, during the de demonstration, um, you know, how detailed it is. Um, you also have access to the history, uh, eviction history, essentially. We cover all 50 states um, and we all know that, for example, New York doesn't cover eviction. So uh, we cover that as well. And lastly, we do have, we do offer the ability to share reports. So essentially, if you're dealing with um, a landlord, it'll be easy for you to manage and send reports. For example, let's say if they're denied from the initial um, application or initial property that they'd like to see, you can go ahead and send it over to another property, another landlord, et cetera, um, in regards to that report. Um, and keep in mind, it is good for 30 days. Um, and then it will be a soft pull for applicants. So it's a win-win for all parties. Uh, next, 
uh, we do offer an acceptance and denial letters. We do offer a, an acceptance um, provision, like essentially a provisional acceptance. Um, and then you'll have full control essentially when creating those uh, documents as well. And then lastly, we do have the e-signature. Uh, so essentially from leasing a list, everything can be completed online. So now I'd like to take you through a demonstration. Essentially, I'll show you where to access the rents pre platform from the uh, turnkey website. And then from there, I'll um, show you an exercise on how to access your account for free and how to add a listing. Before I move forward, are there any questions? Okay. So I'll go ahead and share my screen. I'm going to share my full screen. So we'll just make it easier for us. Should be looking at the uh, turnkey website. Are we good to go on that? Great. So, excuse me, probably went a little fast. From the turnkey website, from your top tabs, you'll see rent spree. Go ahead, give that a click. You'll have a few options. Um, I added nuance that we do offer completely free. Um, is our uh, customer support team. Essentially, there are a handful of members that you can go ahead and request a demo from, or if there are any um, you know, personalized questions that you have, can't get a hold of me, uh, by all means, you can have access to our customer support team. So you'll go ahead and hit request a demo. Um, from there, you'll go ahead and choose a date. So for Friday, looks like everything is booked up until uh, only except for 2.30. Um, you can also look at some more times, Monday through Friday, Typically on Mondays, they're from uh, 12 to five. Um, everything else is nine to five. Fridays, they're at nine to four. So keep that in mind. Uh, but you'll go ahead, choose a time, date. You'll put in your uh, first and last name along with your mobile number. Uh, from there, they'll send you a Zoom invite and then you can conduct a quick 10 to 15 minute uh, call via Zoom. And that's how that will work. So uh, to get started, uh, you have three sections you can access. You can either hit start screening, log in, or get started. Let's hit start screening. Excuse me, I think I may be signed in. So let me go ahead and sign out. And I'll show you the process from the beginning. So we'll hit start screening. You'll put in your email. You'll put in your password, super simple. You'll agree to the terms and conditions then you'll go ahead and hit sign up with email. Once you're in, you'll have the opportunity to add a listing. Super simple. Let's hit add a listing. From here, you'll go ahead and put in the um, credentials of the property. Put in the street address, unit number, city and state, along with the zip code. And it's important to note whether or not you're representing the landlord or property or the applicant. More times than not, we're gonna be representing the landlord or the property. So let's hit next. And then we'll put in some more added information of the property. We'll go single, have, uh, excuse me, single family home. Let's go two bedrooms, two baths. And we'll keep the rent at 18, 800 square feet, year built, let's go 2015. That's a good price on rent, especially now in today's market, but you know, this is uh, for practices purposes. So once you've added that listing, once you put in the information required, you'll go ahead and you'll request a, a new report from an applicant. So from here, you'll go ahead and hit screen new tenant. You'll add the required screening items. So if you'd like a credit report and score, that'll be $30 for the applicant or if you'd like to pay it, you have the optionality to go ahead and choose your pay. Now, in certain situations, let's say a property manager charges um, uh, an amount higher than that $30 price uh, tag that's on this credit report and score through us. Typically, we would say um, go ahead and have them take on that uh, payment. They can receive the the uh, credit report and score or the rental application um, amount from that tenant directly, and they can get the back end, um, essentially the added uh, amount that was missing. So you just leave the credit report score unchecked? No. Um, well, 
you have a couple options. So let's say that the um, property manager charges $60 for their rental application. That rental application typically comes with the credit report and score, criminal background check and eviction report. With us, it costs $30, but if they want their full 60, for example, they can take on the, the option to pay. And that means that the tenant has the full, um, you know, they're required to have the full report for application and all that good stuff. But the property manager will just take on the cost and they'll take on the rest of that $30 essentially okay, since it. they charged, you know, the uh, applicant directly. So that's how that would work. So let's go uh, with the applicant. We'll hit next and we'll hit confirm and continue. Now, pretty cool, we have three options when sending out a request to complete a report. You have <clears throat> via email or text, you can go ahead and put in the mobile number, super easy, or you can go ahead and put an email in. So let's see how fast it works. We'll use my email for practices. And let's give it a couple seconds. Boom, just like that. Let's quickly apply now. Oh, excuse me. And keep in mind, this is from the tenants, potential tenants perspective. They'll get this email and they'll go ahead and hit apply now. And that's how they'll go ahead and get started. Any questions? And then all that information will just come up in an email to whoever uh, the landlord is that's um, requesting the information. Yeah. So once, so for example, if you're representing the landlord, you'll have access to this uh, information. Now you can attach the landlord, um, and they can uh, essentially they can be attached to the property, and they can have access to this, to this information as well. But you'll need to go ahead and view the platform or essentially your dashboard um, to go ahead and view updates. Okay. Okay. Um, another way to share a link is essentially um, applying a apply link. So you go ahead and hit copy. For example, uh, let's say it's on the website. If there's area, if there is a special platform on the website that has properties, you can attach it to the listing. You can say apply now or apply here, for example, and then you can attach that URL code onto that property. For example, you can do the same with Facebook posts. Um, I think it's a little more difficult with Instagram and your Twitters, but essentially it's more of a unique way to go ahead and post via website or on your social media platform. And then lastly, this is my personal favorite. Um, it's, a, it's kind of a sort of a hybrid. Uh, so let's say that we're still holding open houses. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and print out this sheet. This is going to be a paper sheet, but um, it does have a QR code on it. With that being said, um, typically with the QR code, you'll go ahead and grab your mobile device. You can go to your camera app and scan it, uh, just like you're taking a regular picture. And once you scan it, it'll bring us to the same page that we had uh, via via email. So in in this instance, in, excuse me, in this instance, we can post it on a countertop at our open house. Uh, you know, have one or two printouts. Have your potential tenants come in, scan, um, and keep going. Essentially, they can uh, apply just like that. So. Going back, I do want to show you what a completed report would look like. So let's go back. Let's choose. Okay, let's see what we got. All right. So let me go, excuse me, let me go ahead and find a report that's completed more recent. Keep in mind when you do, uh, when your applicants are completing these reports, it will be valid for 30 days. You have an opportunity to save them as a PDF, print them out. Uh, so that information will stay current. But essentially, if you do want to access, um, you know, the, the, the report, within, excuse me, after that 30 day time period, then you'll see something like that expired. But if it's within that 30 day time frame, then we'll go ahead and we have access to it. So 
Oh, excuse me, that's not a report. All right, this should be good to go. Hopefully it's not outdated. Yay, okay. So uh, just a couple options. We can scroll through the full report or we can go ahead and choose through certain tabs. So for example, we can go through the application and I'll have your uh, surface, level, surface level information. And then next up, you can go over to the credit report then you can full, view the full report as well. Like I mentioned before, it comes with trade lines, collection history, very detailed. And keep in mind, this is a soft pool, all through TransUnion. And here's a, an example of the background check. And lastly, the eviction history. So like I mentioned earlier, you can save as a PDF, super simple. All you would need to do is give it a click. You can print them out or you can go ahead and share them to a landlord, property manager, et cetera. It's super simple. Accept, accept on condition or deny. Let's go ahead and accept on condition and then you'll have flexibility to add certain provisions. Before moving forward, are there any questions? Okay. So um, that's the full, uh, essentially, that's the full navigation of adding a listing, requesting a tenant screening report, receiving the report, viewing it, and from there, you can uh, send it over to the landlord. They can make a decision on it. Um, and that, and that would be the full uh, spill. Now we do offer uh, renter's insurance and I do wanna take you through the process. So- Can I ask a question? Yes. Um, is there a way to kind of just give, give access to this to the landlord themselves, just as a service to them? Um, or do we have to do it all for them? No, so essentially um, the way you've accessed uh, rent spree, you can choose whether or not you're an agent, owner, or a landlord. Right. And it'll be, yeah, so essentially you'll send over um, the report. They can add the listing. They, uh, you can attach them to the listing, and then they would have to just do a simple sign-in, just like you guys, email, password, um, accepted terms and conditions, and then from there they can go ahead and take over. That's awesome. Because yeah, that's that's what I would do. I would if, mm -hmm. if obviously everybody you guys can do what you want, but because we're not charging for property management services, this is just a tool you can offer a client after you help them buy a property that they're gonna turn into a rental. You just give them access to this and then they are able to do it all themselves and you look awesome because you gave them that tool for free. So Yes, 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 exactly. Um, so moving forward, um, if the landlord, owner, et cetera, if they do require renter's insurance, we do offer it um, from the dashboard. Remember, uh, you'll go down, you'll hit renter's insurance, you'll hit request renter's insurance. We'll go ahead and choose a property, then you'll send a request, and the request will look like this. Oh. This is the request to apply. So let me go one down and to obtain renter's insurance. It'll look like this. So from here, you can either upload proof of insurance and remember this is from the potential tenant's perspective or you can uh, get a quote. So we'll hit get a quote and we'll have a few options. You can either upload proof of insurance or you can purchase uh, renter's insurance through us, which would be through Shore. Once you go ahead and choose, you'll put in your information, we'll hit next. You'll go ahead and answer a few questions that apply. And 
from there, we'll go ahead and calculate um, essentially a quote. Now from here, you'll have more options. You can add um, to, your, uh, to your amount or you can decrease your coverage amount. All really depending on how much you'd like to pay. And then also you have the option to pay yearly amount or bi-monthly. So for personal property, you can insure up to 95,000. Liability, I do believe it just stays at the 100,000 threshold, um, but I will, I can get more answers on that, but I do typically believe it stays at that $100,000 threshold. And then also you can add your deductible amount. Cool. So that would be a full demonstration of accessing rent spree. The URL we'll use is www.rentspeed.com backslash ROG turnkey. And remember, you can access it through the turnkey website. So, mm. yeah, and on that, while you're pulling that up, Dominic, mm. um, I want to stress that this is not something that you can access through the one login page. Like we access all of our other apps and tools that we use. Um, this is specifically on the Realty One Group Turnkey website, just to clarify. Yes. So um, if there are any questions, I'd be more than happy to take them now. Um, if there are any questions um, that, are, that you guys have through viewing the recording, uh, by all means, uh, send them to me. If you like, um, Isaac, you can go ahead and uh, just gather them up, send them to me, send them my way, and I'll shoot them out. I'll build out a Q&A uh, Google sheet for us. So essentially, you can always have access to it and refer back to them, um, you know, if, if there are any questions to come. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you. Um, yeah, I just want to say say just remind everyone again how i how i would use this if i were you i mean there's there's something um i heard when i first got into business um in regards to just being in sales it's um the idea is be be their broker before you're their broker so you know a lot of times we're in sales we're talking to people and they're coming to you with real estate questions because you know, they know you're a real estate agent, but they don't know the difference between someone who does rentals and things like that. And so again, this is just an awesome uh, service that you can give your clients. You're not going to be compensated for doing this, but it makes you, it makes them remember, oh, that was really cool. How Lisa had that tool. Didn't cost me anything. She had the answers on how to um, screen tenants and so on. And then when that person does eventually go to sell or does eventually go to buy a rental, another rental property or so on, they're going to remember you and the fact that you were the one who, who gave them this tool, even if this is somebody who already has a property and they just need help with this. Um, so again, I, I love that. I love that, um, that line, be their broker before you're their broker. So don't think about this, you know, just, just think about being a real estate resource to everyone, even before they're your client. And they'll remember that when the time comes. So this is just, it's just a little tool that sure, we don't necessarily get paid for this, but you get, um, you know, you, you're, you're a resource for your clients and they'll, they'll remember that. Yes. And keep in mind, there is a rev share split um, at the end of the quarter. So although it's not the, the most heftiest um, check, essentially we do receive the fruits of our labor. And the more uh, rentals, the more screening reports we go ahead and, um, and, and push through and complete, uh, the higher the check is to you guys. And, um, you know, maybe we can sponsor a, a lunch, team lunch or something like that. So, Awesome. Well, thanks, thanks. man. That was, that was helpful. Yeah, this thank you. Thank you. So, this makes it so much easier. Oh, man. When I, I do my that. rentals, I like it's a, it's a work to get <laughs> And Yeah, we'd like to emphasize that, essentially making tenant screening easy. Um, I know it's a process that um, it could be seen as um, uh, like not a uh, non-necessity, but essentially if we make it, um, you know, work for you, then by all means, I think, you know, it can be a benefit for all parties. So thank you. I really do appreciate, appreciate your time all. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Have a great day, everybody. And um, we'll, um, in the uh, email following, we'll have uh, contact information for Dominique so you can reach out to him.
Thank you. Appreciate your time. Enjoy the rest of your day. You guys.